So added some other thing from the Federal University of Technology photo to the coalition um, officers. So that's like you said, that that caused the delay. Yeah, you know, so. yeah exactly. And um, but um, right now the, um, the the coalition has started as we um, uh, as we've seen, and of course. Um, there, there are still a lot of party agents here. We have um, journalists still very much here, observer groups. And of course, if you go outside, you remember we went outside and we saw a lot yeah, of party, party supporters. supporters yeah. They are waiting, waiting to see um, who wins the election. And of course, uh, some have already started celebrating. I really don't know where they got their information from. But um, um, in the next couple of minutes, hopefully, the rec, the returning officer, and then um, um, all the all, all coalition officers should come in and of course they would be able to give us um, 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 more you know on the coalition process yeah, you have the names of some of them yeah talk, talk, talking about um, the returning officer you know as a, um, he's, he's the vice chancellor of um, University of Agriculture in the UK he's really shown maturity he's been able to handle the you know, elections are emotional and so he's been able to handle the party agents the observers you know when it comes to arguments um, not um, the, the the conversations and not telling with um, what they want and so he's been able to handle the situation and he's done it perfectly well you know and because without that maturity maybe would have even been staying longer than this here and uh, so you were trying to ask a question earlier yeah, yeah you have the names of some of yeah, the yeah. local government that have been uh, uh, dealt with so far I know um, uh, we have inquiry Yes. We have Abombise, we have Ikedu, we have um, Onimo, we have um, Owe Municipal, we have Umbitoli, we have Osu local government area, we also have um, Oguta local government, and the last one that was um, collated before the break, exactly. which is the Uwangeli local government area. Exactly, and of course, uh, Uwangeli local government uh, area, you remember uh, the CP mentioned that part as... Um, no, that's the one that it's uh, Ungokwala. Okay, Ungokwala, Ungo yeah. Earlier, uh, um, um, earlier yesterday also, we got... Um, we were here when we got uh, a report that uh, the Ungokwala INEX Center had been uh, uh, set on, on fire. But um, we're still expecting more information from... Um, from that uh, locality. But for now, people are waiting for this result. You know, Imo State, when they say Imo State um, is a flashpoint, I actually didn't know how much that uh, well, I think weight. it's only Imo State. We still have this kind of um, late coalition. We're just nine, nine um, local governments out of 27 local governments are being collated. In some other states, some people are already jubilating. <laughs> we already have winners, losers in the elections. So, for Imo State, we are still waiting patiently for the final um, coalition of the 27 local government area of the state. Yeah, definitely. We are still waiting. And of course, we'll, we'll still be here because I know any moment from now the coalition will resume. And of course, um, we'll get to bring you details, you know, every moment, all the way. Um, of course, during the coalition, we also had some, uh, some drawbacks some sub points where some of the coalition officers Officer, yeah. could not really deliver as much. Are you concerned about that? Yeah, you know, um, recently if you if you come through the social media, you know, you'd have seen a lot of things about um, the returning of professors, you know. They come around, I, I want to believe maybe it's because of the, um, the the stress in the job, collating for three days. Most of them tell you they've been there for three days, three nights without um, sleep, without food, you know, so maybe that that yeah, alone might mean my ear yeah, man because most of them come here to even call the figures, you know, exactly to add up the figures, they miss the figures, and all. so the returning officer will have to talk to them and tell them to, you know, add, add, adjust it again, add it up again, and get the right figure, you know. But I just want to believe is the is the stress over time, you know, it's not been easy three nights staying all over trying to election is it's, it's not easy. It's, yeah, right. it's, it's a whole lot. And, um, I, you know, while uh, we were outside, we heard some people say, uh, why can't we use younger people to do this, that uh, it would go faster. But beyond even bringing in younger people to do this, we're also looking at the process. Can we make this?
the process less cumbersome. Imagine the numbers of hours we've spent, you know, yes. being here. I uh, don't even know what we're going to be done with, with the collation, maybe till 6 p.m., who knows? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Today, yeah. so, so, so it's, uh, we, we, there is this uh, agitation that the process should be reviewed, the electoral process generally, where people can actually vote from the Just comfort like the, of their homes. Just we spoke to yesterday, you know, she made mention of the electronic voting, where yeah. the voting process would be simple, you know, mm -hmm. so people, mm -hmm. Even anywhere you could be anywhere in, in Nigeria and you vote easily and um, it's it's simple, you know, but we'll get there someday. We'll get there someday. Mm, yeah, so, well, it's all good. It's all good. Um, definitely, we would see um, improvement with time because even talk 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 about the smart card reader. You know, it wasn't part of the process, but yeah, now exactly. it's uh, it's been accepted, mm -hmm. and of course, I do. There were still concerns about how functional the uh, smart card readers are. Because you went to some areas where uh, it couldn't read the, yeah. the yeah. fingerprints of some people, though it could read the card, but not the fingerprint. And I think um, that also was a problem. It may have led to a lot of uh, voided votes. Yeah. Yeah, well, the, you, you remember some coalition officers from the um, local government also made mention of some areas where um, the card reader malfunctioned and they couldn't use it. You know, so and some places they had to cancel those votes in those areas because of um, INEX and rule on. Um, Card readers. Yeah, so exactly. It's 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 also a very big problem. It, it's a big challenge because the numbers of voided votes is so enormous. Um, from the results that have been read so far, um, lots of voided votes, cancelled votes. You know, and um, you know this would entirely would affect the entire process ultimately. We're we're hoping we get we move past this um, level to a level where. The Chris, you're talking about uh, automated. voided but votes. For now, it's emo state, you know. And of course, every <laughs> member of um, every governorship aspirant, you know, they, they actually uh, all around having meetings, one meeting or the other. We saw APC, they had a meeting um, oh, yeah. also. We saw uh, some of the other governors, they've been having meetings. Some have been actually condemning the process. They, Chris, if you they, can hear me, they feel the process hadn't been that smooth. You monitored the election in some parts. You know, you saw some of these itches, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, the thing is, when during the voting process. Mm -hmm. Some of these governorship candidates were also the ones that told us that the um, voting process, they were commending INEC and security operatives, telling them that um, the election process was free, fair, and um, everything went smoothly. For now, we're hearing another story. So it's, you know, you can't, you can't, you can't reconcile both um, because the, the results are still trickling now, so mm. they started knowing their fate. Yeah, yeah, we are here, um, uh, right, it's early in the morning, uh, Charles Coyote uh, in the studio, I mean, I didn't know, you've, you've gotten a lot of results, you've gotten a lot of information, um, could you just give us a brief idea of uh, what you think about the election generally? Coyote or Charles? <laughs> <laughs> well, what we think um, here in Lagos, um, we, we seem to be uh, the ones interested in what's coming from the field because you give you guys give us material to work with um, because we don't work in silos we, we receive information from the field oh this has happened here this has happened here and we, we just try to make sense mm. of, of, of the whole situation yeah but um, mm, essentially um, just a moment Charles mm. essentially we, we know it's been hardcore uh, since you went to the field, you're chasing the, the numbers uh, and all of that. But can you share with us any of, uh, if you had any, any, um, any moment of humanity? Probably you saw something happen, uh, probably when you saw, you know, Nigerians show, show a sense of conviviality and all of that. Do you have any anything of interest to share with us? Um, um, Kylie, you see, we had lots of lots of beautiful moments actually. Um, 
But I think we would have time to do that because right now, this hall, the collision center is reconvening. As you can see, people are already coming in. And um, the, the wreck is here. It, yeah, the wreck is um, already seated. The You're returning right officer is seated. All right. That means the collision process All right, so take it away, Chris. right now in Emo State. Take it away, Chris. <laughs> Yeah, all right, okay. So um, right now, so just stay with us on Channels Television. This is the Emo State Collision Center. And of course, more resorts will be trickling in. We've gotten nine already. And of course, tw um, uh, we have um, 18 more to go. So stay with us and um, don't go away. So we'll be going once they settle down in um, Emo State. We'll, we'll go back to them. But we are back in, in Lagos now. Chris uh, Elems and um, our correspondent, who is stationed originally in Emo State, Topwe Kute, just giving us uh, an account of how things have been for them yeah. in Emo State, covering the governorship. You know, when I was actually when I was trying to reach Chris, he had mentioned uh, the problem of uh, voided votes, and I actually wanted to ask him from his own observation, what could have been responsible for having so many voided, voided votes. votes? I mean, if you have a phenomenon like that recurring, then it meant that there was some uh, factor responsible for, you know, that kind of a problem in a place if, like that. If, if, you remember, can, okay. if you remember, uh, the uh, one of um, the... Uh, it's not an observer, I think it's a party agent at the uh, coalition center did say something about non-usage of card readers and the rules. And um, INEC had consistently maintained that where card readers are intentionally bypassed, that means there were no accreditation in those places, so there won't be voting. Zero voting. Yeah. Zero voting. And so I also think um, and then there were issues of overvoting, yes. you know, where the number of registered voters on the register is more than the number of actual voters. So how do you reconcile, you know, such scenarios? I, or when I the number of votes uh, supersedes the number of accredited voters? Yes, also, mm -hmm. also, you know. So in cases like that, also, it actually means that um, some persons were were not, you know, accredited, and they but they were allowed to vote. Or that some people, you know, intentionally, you know, turn printed and stuff those ballot box papers in the box. And, and so, in situations like that, what INEC does is to avoid the votes. Okay. Then, well, one of the things we observed was that two things that we saw very, because we actually tried to study the, the invalid ballots to see what was wrong. So we saw two things. The first is that we saw that there was more than one place where you could see ink, and you know, once. Yeah. The paper yeah. has more than yes, one place. Yes. It's mm -hmm. invalid. So, no matter how how significant, no matter how this, insignificant, yes, no matter how insignificant. But for what I also observe, once there's another place, once so no far there's a bit of ink in yes. another part of the ballot. No matter paper, how insignificant, it's, 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 it's so now. INEC had given because you know the ballot papers are really big. Yes. Because of the large number, so INEC gave well, one of the things we observed, and we observed it everywhere. Presidential, we observed it here as well, that once. Um, you want to fold. This is how INEC said we should fold. You roll up the ballot like this. Inwards. Inwards with the uh, ballot inside. I mean, yes. where you thumb printed on the inside. Yeah. Right? So when you roll it up like this, then... Flatten it. You flatten it. That's how INEC said it. And then you put it inside. The essence of that is so that you avoid this folding of the ink because it's big. Yeah. I didn't see anywhere. Everywhere the voters will carry a very big paper like this. Some will fold it like this. Some will fold it the, the ballot like this. Yes, even politicians. Even even the elites. That, mm -hmm. Even when we went to the so-called highbrow areas yes. mm -hmm. with the so-called MDs and others, they, they did the same thing. They will fold it like this you see, and then that's where, force it inside. That's where voters' education you know, you comes, know, in. comes in. So the politician, the political parties did not educate voters enough. That's correct. INEC also did not do much to educate voters. The, the, uh, uh, the education that, you know, some people saw 
was the one on social media. Even at the point, there was a misinformation as to the the actual term to use. Yes. You know, some people there were misconceptions. Some people were like, "Oh, I, I never has changed the the term to use." And and so you know, without informing people, until I then came up on on Channel TV to say that look. Because of the, the, the numbers of political parties and the fact that the space will be too small for a bigger term, and so that we won't have, you know, invalid votes, there's need to use a smaller term. Which is second? You, um, so the second, yeah, so that takes us to the second thing. You see the box, because of so many names, it's not as big as it used to be. It's a bit, so 